this is Mr. Drosty, and today we are talking about the Chesapeake Leopard Affair from 1807, which heightened tensions between Great Britain and the United States. It was definitely a turning point in the second term of President Thomas Jefferson. Now, this event happened during the Napoleonic Wars between Great Britain and France. Both countries wanted help from the United States as an ally, and the United States was very reluctant to get involved in the conflict between Great Britain and France. The United States believed that they had neutral rights during the conflict and that they were not going to align themselves with either Great Britain or France and that neither country should attack them. However, both countries were very, very frustrated by U.S. neutrality, particularly Great Britain. Uh, Great Britain believed in a policy of once a British subject, always a British subject. So if you're talking about 1807, of course, there would have been men in their 20s that were born before the United States had won the Revolutionary War. And Great Britain believed that they could force these men into service. This was called impressment, where American citizens would be literally kidnapped by the British and forced to serve in the British Navy. And uh, this happened throughout this period of time. The British were also looking for deserters of the Royal Navy. During the summer of 1807, there were some French ships in the Chesapeake Bay uh, on the east coast of the United States. And the British had a blockade on these French ships. And there were some British sailors who deserted their positions and went to the coast of Virginia and elsewhere and decided they wanted to live in the United States and to, uh, to avoid the war. So several Royal Navy sailors had deserted their ships. Uh, in, in America, a lot of the local authorities gave these men sanctuary, essentially uh, let them live in the United States if they would like to take up work. Uh, one of these deserters was a guy named Jenkin Ratford. And Jenkin Ratford was... Uh, kind of flamboyant about the fact that he had deserted the British Royal Navy. And he would often uh, raise attention to this on the streets uh, in Norfolk, Virginia, where he would shout at the British officers. Now, of course, these uh, British officers are going to want to take him back into the Royal Navy because he has broken the law by deserting the Royal Navy. So the British ship Leopard was sent over with orders to board U.S. ships and to look for deserters. And so on the day of Monday, June 22nd, 1807, there was this incident between the British ship Leopard and the U.S. frigate Chesapeake. So the American ship Chesapeake was under the command of James Barron. The Leopard, the British ship under the command of Captain Salisbury Price Humphreys, encountered each other that day. The American ship was ordered to submit and for, for them to allow a search and they refused and thus a short a very short battle happened the uh, british ship leopard unloaded on the american ship the american ship chesapeake was only able to fire a single shot in return uh, there had been three members of the american ship chesapeake killed during this incident 18 more wounded at that point the british did board the chesapeake and they looked for deserters they took four men that day, one of which was the man that we talked about who was often on the streets in Norfolk, Virginia, taunting the British, Jenkin Ratford. So Ratford and three other men were taken by the British on that day. Americans were absolutely outraged by what had happened here. Uh, some wanted to go to war immediately with Great Britain. They felt like the sovereignty of the United States had been attacked. They felt like the rest of the world was looking at the United States as a third-rate country, and they thought we need to do show some force to show the British that we're not going to accept them stopping our ships, firing on our ships unprovoked, and killing American citizens or kidnapping American citizens and impressing them into the Royal Navy. should be noted that of the four men who were taken prisoner by the British after the Chesapeake Leopard affair. Only one of them, Mr. Ratford, was actually born in Great Britain. There were other British nationals on board the Chesapeake that day, uh, but the men from the Leopard only took the four men who they knew had deserted their positions in the Royal Navy previously. They did not impress or force any of the other British nationals to serve and take them with them.
As for Jenkin Ratford, he was sentenced to death and he was hanged on August 31st, 1807. So what was Thomas Jefferson's response to the Chesapeake Leopard Affair? President Jefferson wanted to avoid war at all costs. Jefferson had actually cut U.S. military spending when he came into office in an effort to get the federal budget under control. So the U.S. was not in a position to go to war with Great Britain at this point in time. So what he did was he passed the Embargo Act of 1807. It banned U.S. trade with all foreign countries. The idea was we would put economic pressure on Great Britain in order to gain some respect from them and, and get revenge for this incident. But it backfired. This was a massive disaster. It sent the U.S. economy into a tailspin. Uh, merchants in New England became enraged. They lost a lot of money. It actually gave some momentum to the Federalist Party, which was on the ropes. The Federalists were nearly gone by 1808 and completely out of power, but they made some congressional gains in the election of 1808 uh, due to Jefferson's unpopularity with how he handled this crisis. Uh, so we we closed our ports and we basically closed down foreign trade, at least legally. There were some loopholes in the law and some people were able to get around it. Uh, but for Great Britain, they didn't need to trade with the United States. In fact, what they did was they just started trading uh, in South and Central America instead. And their economy was not really hurt by the Embargo Act of 1807. And in the final days of Jefferson's presidency in early 1809, he signed some legislation to roll back some of the effects of the Embargo Act of 1807, universally seen as a disaster. So this, this whole incident here with the leopard and the Chesapeake kind of sets the U.S. on the course to eventually go to war with Great Britain once again in what will become the War of 1812. The War Hawks come into Congress around this time, still wanted revenge for this and some other things that were yet to happen, uh, specifically the continued impressment of U.S. citizens by the British, and eventually we're going to go to war again. But we'll save that for another time. If you enjoyed this video, click like down below and subscribe for more great history videos. We'll see you next time.